Hello. Uh, here I want to talk a little bit about how to copy, modify, and edit um, some open educational resources we've made for teaching statistics in for undergraduate psychology. So what we're looking at here is the course website that I use when I teach intro stats. Um, this website itself can be copied and edited um, and used uh, by anyone else for their own purposes. So these are free and open materials. Um, we have a textbook. If we wanted to look at that, it's right here. It's a web book um, and you can kind of scroll through it. The source code. So what we're basically talking about today is how to get the source code for this book, make any changes you want, and then recompile it and put it up on your own website. And you can do that for the course website and the lab manual, uh, which is another uh, web book that has exercises um, for R, Excel, SPS, and Jamovi uh, that, go, that kind of follow through the course content from descriptive statistics through correlation t-tests and ANOVAs, all using open, uh, open data. Okay, so um, yeah, so the idea is if you want to use these materials and modify them, you can do that. And here's how, how you would do that. It's, uh, um, I'm going to assume you might already, if you already have GitHub and you know about, about R and RStudio and R Markdown, this will be pretty straightforward. And if you don't know about these things, uh, this could be a, a very quick introduction to them. So this website, the textbook, and the lab manual each live on their own GitHub repositories. Uh, let's take a look at the repository for the textbook. You can link to that here. I've already got it open. Um, here it is. Um, here's all the source code you need to compile this book. Let me briefly say that when you compile the book on your own computer, all of the HTML necessary for the web page goes into this folder called the docs folder. So if we clicked on this, these files are actually the files for the web book. And uh, GitHub repositories have a setting. Under settings, you can access it. You can scroll down and you can see GitHub pages. You can um, turn on this option and it will build web pages from your docs folder. Okay, so this textbook all uh, lives on this GitHub repository, both in terms of its source code on this side and then this is the web link to display the web page that's being served from the docs folder here. Um, so basically, if you were to copy this repository and put it on your own GitHub account, you could serve your own website of this textbook in the exact same way. Now, presumably you'd wanna do that um, if you want to make some changes to the content. So how, how would you go about doing that? Um, well, you could fork the repository, uh, but I would also re just recommend just downloading this whole repository. You can do that here. Click download as a zip file, and you will get a zip file with all this stuff. The second thing I would recommend doing is going and getting GitHub Desktop. It's free and it works really well. You don't have to get too complicated with Git uh, to do this. If you don't have R and RStudio installed, you'll need those too. Uh, okay, so I've already downloaded this on my computer. What you would then do is load up GitHub Desktop. Uh, if this is your first time using it, you'll want to go to preferences and log into your github.com account. And after that, we want to add a repository to this. You can think of this GitHub desktop kind of like iTunes or whatever for GitHub repositories. You need to add them into here. Uh, so you could click add existing repository. If you've downloaded this repository, just go and find the folder. Uh, where it is on your computer and click add and it'll show up on the sidebar. So for example, I've already added statistics, which is 
on my computer already. Um, and of course I've got it set up that if I make any changes on my side, I can um, push them up to the uh, GitHub side. Uh, all right, there's this nice little option here. I can ask to see my files in this statistics folder in my finder. Here it is. Whoops. And if I take a look, uh, these are just the look. This is a local copy of, of um, these the source code. What you would do is open up the R project file here. and uh, refer to the notes for the packages you'd need to build this. Uh, I need to get a better list of those. But basically, you need the book down package. And if, if that package is installed, you should be able to see a build tab here. And you can go down. I'm clicked on the Git book format because that will compile everything to the docs folder as a web page. Or web book and to compile everything you just have to click build book on my computer that takes right now about a couple minutes um, but uh, I believe the code compiles without error at least on the R version that I'm running if you want to make changes all of the chapters are written in R markdown from here 1 to 13 so for example if you want to make changes to chapter 2 you just open up this file um, most of the book is written in plain text. You'll see uh, there's a little bit of R markdown to learn here, but uh, many things can just be changed by getting in there, deleting the text, um, and saving your changes. Uh, once you've made your changes, you can build the book again. Um, and then all of your changes should be reflected in uh, the new website. The last thing I'll note, so let's see if I'll give you an example here. Um, whenever you make a change, so I'm just going to add a space to this file. So I've now changed the file. It now has a space there where it didn't have before. If you go back to GitHub Desktop, uh, any change you make to these files in the repository will be noted here in GitHub Desktop. And after you've made the change, you can make a little note about whatever that was. So I'm just going to do a test here. You have to commit your changes. And once you're ready to put them back onto github.com, you can push them, press push. Uh, usually when you're building a website, it will take uh, maybe 20, 30 seconds for those changes to be reflected when you go back up onto GitHub and um, take a look. So I hope this made a little bit of sense. Um, and uh, hopefully the, the notes that will accompany us this little video will um, cl clear up any other confusions. Have fun.